Hey, this is Jay. Happy Zer Day. Happy Friday. How in the world are you guys doing? Zer is at the tower over here on this left hand side. And as we're heading back here, man, had a couple people ask me the same question this week. They're like, what's your favorite weapon in Destiny of all time? And I have to say the G-Horn, year one. That thing was just amazing. I'm really excited to get it back in year two. But I'd love to know what is your favorite weapon in Destiny of all time? Let me know that in the comment section. But look at this. I can't even see Zer. There's so many people here. Gonna have to stand in line, but uh, oh wow, look at that, the Mita. Man, he's selling it. Uh, some people are gonna be really happy, some people are gonna be really mad, but look at these other things. All right, let's go through this. The Armamentarium, this is of course for your Titan, and we've got uh, gain an additional grenade charge. I love that for PvP. I'd recommend getting this just for that. Uh, it's also gonna help you in Challenge of Elders when it's uh, grenade modifier or something like that, but increased intellect, discipline, special, heavy ammo, Boy, really good arc recovery and arc armor. So yeah, like I said, I like having an extra grenade in PvP. That's just me. Um, so I'd recommend getting this. And it's also going to help you in certain circumstances when it's uh, like Challenge of Elders. Not so much. It's not so good in PvE. But we got the Bones of Yao. Of course, you get the upgraded double jump with an additional jump. You know, whatever class you're using, you're going to get one more jump. So I love this for the raid. Uh, in that respect. So if you're a uh, PvP player, raid player, definitely want to get this. Increased intellect, increased discipline, shotgun ammo, that's good. Rocket launcher ammo, of course, that's good. And solar double down. So um, I don't know if I'd pick this up if I'm mostly a PvP player. Uh, let me know if I'm forgetting something, but I'd like this mostly for PvE. We've got the purifier robes. We've got burn brighter activating radiance for death disorientates nearby enemies. This works in PvP and PvE. Uh, whenever you die, you activate your radiance to come back. You have to have that going on, but you're going to disorientate everybody. And I like this uh, both for uh, running raids and doing things like that. Nightfalls is really good uh, and PvP. But we've got increased intellect, increased strength, special ammo, heavy ammo. Void Burn Defense and Solar Armor. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting this. Uh, it's gonna really come in handy. Probably in PvP I'm gonna use something else, but um, this isn't too bad to use in PvP. So uh, I just wanna make sure I have one of these in year two. Yeah, there it is, all right. Just making sure. All right, and on to the Mita. Holy smokes. Mmm, good. Uh, kinetic Damage, Soft Ballistics. CQB Ballistics, Smart Drift Control, we've got Third Eye, that's going to keep your radar active, great in PvP and other circumstances, Lightweight plus 2 Character Agility, I like that, that's what I usually equip on mine, Quick Draw, and Field Scout, Increased Ammo Capacity, and then you got Mita, um, Multi-Tool this weapon, boosts movement speed and fires on a hair trigger, and boy it does, it's fun, if you've got a trigger finger, you're going to really like this weapon, but I like using this uh, in PvP, unfortunately, man, there's too many people using this in pvp it's crazy good uh, with that movement speed and hair trigger and the damage that it does but it's also really good like when you're doing challenge of elders and need precision shots you can just mow people down and get those uh, crit shots really easy so definitely get that that would be the number one thing to get this week but we've got legacy engrams of course if you buy a year this is a year one item say you got the year one purify robes you could get the year two with your uh, vanguard marks or legendary marks whatever they're called but that's about the only reason to get otherwise skip that we've got uh, the glass needles will let you re-roll your stat rolls on your exotic pieces of armor we've got three of coins uh, you can get a uh, exotic ingram to drop when you're fighting an ultra or playing in a crucible match i tell you what i don't see this too much uh, in nightfalls anymore i don't think i can remember the last time i've gotten an exotic ingram to drop in a nightfall uh, but i do have a nice farming method if you want to check my recent videos to use those but heavy ammo drops sparrow upgrades and of course you can trade in two strange coins for one mode of light but that is what Zer has to offer if you want to check out my videos that i uploaded this week i've got a nightfall with my son and a subscriber and also i took my son he didn't have the black spindle i took my son and another subscriber and uh, we got the black spindle for them. So if you wanna check out those videos, you can click on them. But let me know what you're doing this week in the comment section. My dad is in right now and my sister is coming in uh, tonight, late tonight. So I'm gonna be spending the time with them. I also am preaching at my church this week. So that's what I have planned. Love to know what you guys have planned. Let me know that. But guys, as always, take care and God bless.